Megan Steck is a student director at Southeast Missouri State University and shares her experiences of her production of Almost Made. Hi, my name is Megan Steck and I am a BFA acting directing major with a theater and dance and I am a senior this year. I had taken directing last year as a part of the curriculum for acting and directing major and whenever we were in that class Dr. Stelson asked would anybody be interested in directing and I said I emailed him and I was like yes of course I would love to direct. The show chosen for me was Almost Maine. Almost Maine is about nine different love stories based in this little mystical town of Almost Maine. And it's not traditional um, in the sense of you don't get to see the same character twice. It could be done from four actors all the way to 19 actors. And whenever we were going through the casting process, I was originally going to do six. And then as the process went on and the auditions and callbacks went on, there were just so many people that just like blew my mind and I was like, no, we have to have more and more. And we, um, I talked to the professors and they're like, we encourage you to do 19 and I was like, that's perfect, let's do it. Whenever you're ready, you can start your game. At the very beginning of our acting process, they had table work that they worked on. And that included getting, kind of getting their backstory and drawing up kind of a just an idea of what their character would be like before the show even started and what their characters would be then and then after the show and what, what the relationships are. And we really felt like that was really important to have for everybody. So at the very beginning, we went into regular rehearsals, we had work warm-ups and they would run through their scene and we'll go back and work on certain things. For the second stage shows, they like to have it very student oriented. They like to have a student director, student designers, everything they try their best to have it be student led. Before we even cast, we were meeting with the designers. The first meeting we had, they said, okay Megan, what is your vision of the show? And they show, I tell them kind of like, what is my vision? I want it to be mystical in some ways, but I want it down to earth and real and really showing what Maine is like. It's like a snow globe in a way, and that was an idea that Mr. Matt Buttry and I talked about. And from that meeting with the other meetings, it's just carried through. I look at theater as a, it's kind of like a baseball team. And this is something Dr. Stilson said, and it's the same way with theater in every way. It's a teamwork effort. It's not just the director. It's not just cast. It's everybody, the scenic designers, the lighting designers, the people that are running it. I basically am the one that just says, yes, that's good, let's do it, or no, let's try it this way. <laughs> Whenever we get done with rehearsals the last night on Tuesday, for us it's Tuesday night, it's kind of you get to say your last piece, you gave your last notes, you gave your last compliments, or you do your things to encourage them for the rest of the show. Because at that point, you have a show. You, you get to put it on stage, and it's kind of your job to sit down the next day, opening night, and relax and enjoy what is created. <laughs> to sit back and hear the audience's reaction, sometimes it's scary. I was like, okay, are they gonna like this, is that? Is that going to be the best? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? And whenever you hear that audience reaction, if they really laugh at something, for example, last night, they were cracking up so much, and I loved it. And it was a sigh of relief to know, as a team, you guys did it. You got this, and you worked on it, and it happened. And there's so many moments that could have been missed, but because they left, you got it. And um, it's not, and it, it is that team effort. It's like whenever, you do a home run and you did it and it's everybody all together and you cheer and come as a team and that's what that was. Eventually what I would like to do with my future is open up my own theater company. And so to do this on this level, this has just encouraged me to really just keep on pursuing this and keep on doing this. And it really, really 
helped me in a lot of ways of seeing what I can work on, where my strengths and my weaknesses in that in directing and what can I improve on for the future. It's amazing. It really has been an amazing joy ride and I mean there's always going to be moments and things you can work on. There's always going to be moments that weren't the best but that whenever you have those moments which is basically like 99% of the time where you just can get up and have fun but yet get things done and get work done that's the most exciting and amazing feeling and with this team I felt like I've been able to do that and really just have fun with them and bring the story to life that has been written and that's our job to do is tell a story and I feel like we've been able to do that.